What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I got the Logic K480 uh, Bluetooth multi-device keyboard. You have a keyboard, you have this little slot that you can put your phone into. Works on pretty much anything with a Bluetooth connectivity. It says here it works with Apple iPad, iPhone, iOS 5 or later, Android, tablet or smartphone, Android 3.2 or later, uh, Windows uh, 10 or later, Windows 8 and Windows 7, works on OS X or later, Chrome OS, and all you need is an uh, internet connection. You need two AAA batteries, but they're included and pre-installed in the keyboard. I picked this up at Walmart for $70. I know Amazon or eBay will have it cheaper. I'm just seeing it there, spurred a moment, and I was like, hey, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get that. I'm going to type on that. I'm going to use that. So you can hook up the three devices on this thing and all you do is switch it with the turn of a dial. You, don't, you just connect once and then that's it. You're done. So let's open this box up and check it out. So I noticed by the box it was pretty heavy. So it's not the lightest thing to carry around. So that's all that's in the box, is a keyboard and just a little little uh, manual inside. And it is kind of like rubbery, but it's more of like a hard plastic type thing. So right on the bottom here you have a little power switch and a green light that comes on, letting you know that it's on. Right on the front here you have, or right on the top of this uh, keyboard, you have uh, a button that says PC, or you can connect Android, Windows, or Chrome OS. And then you have a little I on the other side, iOS, Mac OS. And there's really good rubber feet on the bottom of this, so this thing ain't going to slide around very easy. The keys. So they are the quiet keys. I know I did a keyboard just a few, uh, few episodes ago where I like the quiet keys so I'm a fan of this already uh, this little wheel on the side here is a little that uh, has like a little same thing as this little bit of a rubber texture to it um, very easy to slide it over so you can have your iPhone here your Android here oh I got an email on number three switch over there do that up so it, it gives you the steps on this little sticker that's across the front here so you dial it into the whatever one you want to connect first number one number two number three uh, you press down if you're hold, if you're connecting to an Android or a PC you press the PC button down for three seconds same thing with the iOS or the Mac come on oh yeah you can have it standing straight up you can have it on its side you can have it upside down you can even have it crooked that looks cool. So it should be fairly easy, it should be fairly quick. Let's just go to my Bluetooth settings and see if it's in here first. Search. Push the PC button down for three seconds. Let's hit the search button. Let's go down here. So you can see it right there, it comes up. So we'll click on that. Pairing. Okay, so the keyboard 480 type 560780, then press enter. So let's do that right on this keyboard here. So 560780, enter. It is connected. You can use the keyboard on your screen while in a while a Bluetooth or USB keyboard is connected. Tap change keyboard in notification panel and turn on show keyboard on screen. Let's try typing. F F F. F F F. Send ourselves an email. So two zero one five C S P R two zero one five. 
at gmail.com. So there it is. So can we put tab button tabs right here? Tab. Tab. Subject. H E L L O. Tab. <laughs> Definitely works. I mean, convenient? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's better than sitting there like this on your phone typing. And then your big fingers get on those small little keyboards on top of your phone. I mean, this this is this might work for you. I like it. I don't like the weight of it. it. It is really heavy. But I mean this thing connects up to three three devices. So now I'm disconnected from that one when I switch it to number two. It does not work. Switch it back to number one. And I'm connected. Just like that. So I mean connected once. That's all you have to do. You can hook up to three. Seventy dollars at Walmart. They do have the hotkeys on here. You might have to set up. I tried pushing the email button. It did not bring up my email. Um, let's see if I can escape. I can escape. I can escape. So escape is just like the back button on your phone. Uh, search. Don't do nothing. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. It brings up the Google search. So search up SCM. Look at that. So, escape. It's gone. Um, it's very responsive. Can I turn the volume up? Oh, look at that. So, the volume works on there. Internet. Okay, that one did not work. <laughs> camera. Oh, it took, oh, okay. So, the camera takes a screenshot of your, of your phone. Um, oh, there's also a back button on here, so let's just, uh, let's just do, okay. So let's try hitting the back button here. Yeah, so the back button and the escape, F4 is the back button, escape works the same way. Uh, what's start do? Okay, so it just brings up your, your, uh, if you're on Android, it brings up your Google, your Google, uh, app. There is a play pause button, I don't know. Okay, so it just brings, if you have SoundCloud installed on your Android device, or whatever whatever music player you have installed on there, if you push the play pause button, it'll automatically start your SoundCloud, on my phone anyway. This one doesn't have a mouse with it, I don't know if they come with mouses or not. Or the mice, the mice. I don't know if they come with mice. Is that how you say two mouses? mouse I don't know if it comes with the mouse but I'm telling you this thing works wonders the only thing I don't like about the only downfall on this is the weight of this thing you know the size of it it is kind of big but that's the whole point if you didn't want it big why don't you just stick with the keyboard on your phone okay if you like this video give it a big thumbs up I like this product the price, I know you can find them cheaper. I, I'm, this is Logitech, okay? This is Logitech, the K480. They probably make cheaper brands of this, but this is the only one I was at Walmart at the time, and I was like, hey, look at that, that's cool. So I pulled that off the shelf, and I went through the cash register, and I came home with it. So that's the story of this. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.